Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, welcome back to my channel. I want to welcome you guys warmly to episode 9 of my EA Sports Fight Night Champion Legacy Mode Series Road to the Goat 2 starring your boy Matt Merced. First things first, if you guys haven't checked out the last episode of this series, I recommend you do so. But don't worry about it, don't worry, don't worry. I made it easy for you. I already put the link in the description, so you guys can click that and check out the last video if you haven't. Reverse Butterbean, I think we knocked him out in like the second round. I think we knocked him down twice in the first round, we had a good fight in that one. But yeah man, I figured I'd give you guys more of this. I appreciate everybody coming back. I had a dude 11 hours ago uh, comment on my last episode of this series and he said, man, I love these. You planning on keeping this up at all? And my answer to him is absolutely, of course, champ. We still have a goal. We still have a motive. We still have a reason. We still are looking to become the greatest boxer of all time, the greatest heavyweight boxer of all time, man. So, yo, shout out to Simon Chappelle, man. If you're watching this video, bro, how you doing, bro? How, how, how are you, man? Yo, I appreciate everybody coming back to the channel, man. We are 53 subscribers away from hitting that big 1,000. Absolute madness. I can't believe we've made it this far. I'm extremely grateful for all the support you guys have shown me. And I know you guys have been enjoying this, man, this series. And, and honestly, so have I. And I haven't played this, I think the last episode we dropped was maybe a week and a half ago, so I'm feeling refreshed, I'm feeling rejuvenated, I'm feeling ready, hopefully you guys are ready too, so sit back, relax, and enjoy this series, and enjoy this episode, man. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, so what we're going to do in this video, like we do in one of these videos for this series, we're going to rerun where we're at. As you can see on the screen, man, we are still an unconventional heavyweight. We are 21 years old in our second year of boxing with a record of six wins, no defeats and no draws, and six wins by KO. We are the 30th ranked heavyweight in the world. We are number 376 on the Punch for Punch ranking. We currently have $42,136 in the bank, and we have 1,547 XP under our belt. So I think the first thing we're going to do in this video, guys, is check the message center first. Okay, so, so far we just have people showing us love and support, saying what a streak. And then we got from our last fight, uh, fight challenges. So that's pretty cool. On to the next thing. What I think we should do now is put our XP up. We're going to add XP to our fighter. Now, as you guys might have known if you've been staying up to date with this series, man, uh, versus Butterbean, we looked like a whole different animal out there. We looked like a whole new contender. We looked fresh. We looked ready to go. We threw some crazy shots, landed some crazy shots, had some immense power. So as you can see, man, what's good about this game is you get stars for each category. Whether it's your left hook, your jab to the body, your right uppercut, your combinations are boxing. Uh, blocking, excuse me. And what these stars do, man, they're going to give you special abilities uh, depending on what um, actual skill you put up. So as you guys can see, man, we have cut, 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 cuts to the head and hooks to the head. And that is our, by far, our most powerful weapon so far, man. By far. And as you can see with this star, man, we have the ability to minorly stun opponents with the left hook to the head. With the right hook to the head, left uppercut to the head, and the right uppercut to the head. Now what I usually do with these stats here, as you guys know if you've been staying tuned, I usually auto-assign these stats. So I think for the sake of this video, keep everything easy. Let's see what they want us to do when we auto-assign. Okay, so we're going to be putting up the left uppercut, the right uppercut, our straight to the body, our combinations, and our chin. That works out for me. Let's exit this here. Let's apply these changes. And boom, just like that, we're one step closer to becoming the greatest of all time. Now keep in mind, with this series, I don't know how many fights you have to actually have um, before you can go for the belt. I don't know if I'm going to keep really heavy. Okay. Um, I know I was in the middle of talking, but as you can see right now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm absolutely blown away. 
Looks like we're going to be fighting George Foreman, man. Now, for anybody, I mean, I feel like if anybody is watching this series on YouTube, you know about boxing. You're a fan of boxing. You follow boxing. Maybe you follow boxing. And you know about boxing. And um, anybody who knows boxing knows who George Foreman is like. George Foreman is probably one of the most uh, heavy handers in boxing history, like of all time. Like, this is absolutely crazy. Absolutely, we're definitely taking on the challenge. We're gonna be versing George Foreman, man. Wow, I'm I'm in shock. Okay, so let's go over George Foreman, man. This man has a record of 77 wins, eight losses, 69 knockouts. Pause on that. Okay, but his 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 last five fights. He hasn't fought five. He's only fought four. He's one in three, man, with one KO. So he's got dropped three times. So this is very interesting. Wow. Let's take on George Foreman, guys. Should be a fun episode right here. Okay. And as you guys know from the previous episodes, we've been training in Philly, I think, for the last two episodes. So I'm wondering if maybe we should switch it up now. I kind of want to save the bread, but the only reason to have money in this is to buy these camps. So maybe we should go for the camp that offers us the most attributes. All right, so there's four there, four here. All right, speed and, and okay, our speed and endurance is good. Okay, strength is kind of low. Let's go with one that has strength for a fact. Okay, since we've been doing Philly, because they've had the most to choose from, the most... uh little little uh drills to take place in let's go with detroit we're gonna go with detroit for this one and yeah ladies and gentlemen thank you guys for coming back to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button if you guys are new here i appreciate you guys being here all right what we're gonna do now is see what they have to offer Okay, so they have outside specialists, heavy bag combo, stay on your feet, and open sparring. I think we did stay on your feet in episode 4. I could be wrong about that, to be honest. I'm not going to do stay on your feet now, because my guy's stats are pretty low. Maybe if we get into, like, the 90s, I might do this again. I think for this one right here, though, heavy bag combos. That's right, man. Let's go with the heavy bag combos here. And let's see, okay, we need 8,000 points to hit that championship rating, 7,000 for contender, and 6,000 for prospect. Your boy's ready, the cooler's ready, the cooler's been training, the cooler's prepared. Like, Matt Merced is ready, like, you you got me confused, like, we're, like, I'm, like, bro, I'm ready, like, bro, I'm, I'm literally ready for anything, like, all scenarios, all outcomes, like, your boy is prepared, like, your boy's a thinker, like, I think the only thing I do more than breathe is think, I'm, oh, I'm a thinking man, like, mama raised a thinking man, like, I'm always thinking, like, you feel me, like, yeah, let's get it, let's get it in, bro, let's, let's do these heavy bag combos. Yes, sir. Thank you guys for coming back, man. I appreciate you guys so much. You really have no idea. Like, all right, let's do these combos, though. Let's get in. A little nice little, little step here, a little double jab. See what we can do, man. I'm going to try not to mess these up. You see the speed, though? The speed is not where I want it to be. But with everything in life, things take time. Nothing happens overnight. You can't be where you want to be overnight. Everything takes time, man. Patience is the key. Especially when it comes to boxing, man. So right now, man. Your boy's combo is look, it's looking pretty sharp. I don't want to jinx it. But we got 22 seconds left. We need 8,000 points. To get that championship. To boost our stats to the maximum level. We got four seconds. Right, step. Move it, move we didn't miss one there. Focus on some that was pretty good. We, we, we were literally 75 points off a hitting contender, but we did hit prospect. Not bad. We're still only... Look at our overall, dog. Like, your boy is a 77 overall. Like, like fighting George Foreman. Like, 
Like, are you, are you, are, are you crazy? Like, George, like, who, bro? You're fighting who? Who are you fighting, bro? George Foreman? For 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 George Foreman, bro? Are you out of your mind? I don't know, man. I might have to put... All right, wait. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's rest up for this week. But, yo, I might have to put, like, some George Foreman, like, highlight videos, like, in the description. Like, like, George, like, George Foreman. Like, like, bruh. George Foreman? This is going to be crazy, man. I'm excited for this. All right, this is our final drill, man. Let's do some open spark, bro. All right, and as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how you guys doing? We need 40,000 points to hit that champion, 25,000 points to hit contender, 15,000 points to hit prospect. Let's get it popping, man. Let's start it up right now. I'm pretty sure in the last episode we did an open sparring, and we we passed the champion by like 30,000 points. I think, nah, maybe like... I'm not, I'm not really exactly sure. I think it was 65,000 points we got. We needed 40. And look at this nonsense. Oh, he, he just tags me. But look who we're fighting. We're fighting Butterbean. Caught him with his punch, though. Here we go. All right, man. We got to just be safe with this. Nice weave there. Body shot lands. But as you can see, Butterbean's landing some shots, man. Yo, honestly, got, oh, look at that. Oh, we, okay. There's the haymaker. I got to learn how to throw that. I'm just trying to throw the hook, but it threw that. But yo, if you guys, like I said in the beginning of the episode, if you guys haven't checked out the last episode of this series, we, bro, we devastated Butterbean. We put on a show, bro. We embarrassed Butterbean. We made it seem like, like he was the rookie and we were the veteran. You know what I mean? That's a nice weave right there. All right, so right now we got 20,000 points. We got about a minute and 10 left. We're doing a good job of blocking. Boxing's all about the sweet science. Boxing's all about footwork. Boxing is all about head movement, as you can see by a nice weave right there. Boxing's all about that jab. Boxing is all about the fundamentals. Nice block. Um, the only way for us to be successful, I know this is a game, guys, but I'm taking this serious. But every time, you know, we got to keep the combinations rolling in. As you can see, you guys have been watching from the beginning. Boy doesn't sporadically throw. You'll re you'll never see me throw more than a four punch combination. If I throw a four punch combination, I'm taking a breath. I'm taking a break in between. That's a nice weave right there. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm throwing one twos. I'm throwing the one two three. I'm throwing one punch. If I throw, I, I never throw more than four punches, man. Who knows, maybe if we raise that combination stat, we might be able to throw more than five punch combos, but it's all about combinations, man. I feel like the body shots open up headshots and shit, you know? Okay, we did good. We got that championship rating here. Pretty dope, pretty dope. We put our strength up. We got every single stat up right here. So that's pretty, that's pretty lit. I think we're prepared, man. Jesus Christ. Guys, uh, someone remind me, who, who are we versing again? You got to be kidding me, coach. I didn't sign up for this. Oh, wait. Yes, I did. What are you talking about? We're going to be facing the goats. All right, guys. Here it is, man. Matt, Matt Merced versus George Foreman, man. We have some heavyweight action for you guys, dude. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. Good evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas... I'm Joe Tessator, and we're glad to be bringing you action and welcome you. All right, Foreman is 47 years old. Everything else is virtually identical, man. There's the cooler. Looking calm, looking collected, looking just has one goal. He's looking to put Foreman away. But that's the thing. Foreman is looking to put us away. Like... Let's give him the round of applause. Like it's George Foreman. Like, but look at but look but look at the eyes. Look at the eyes of the cooler. No fear. No fear whatsoever. George Foreman looks a little confused. He's like, who the fuck is this guy? But here we go, man. Some heavyweight action for you guys coming at you live in the wreck. Okay. So so far, George Foreman is standing in the middle of the ring. Shot 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 shots shot, shot, to nobody. He landed a nice body shot there. He's trying to throw that jab. There's a hook. There's a little one-two we land. Another one-two coming through. Right out of that corner. 
uppercut, straight punch combination lands, staying on the outside, doing a good job. Nice weave there, jab lands, the straight punch blocks his shot. Here we go, guys. Nice uppercut, another uppercut lands, doing a good job. Ooh, getting out of the way of both of those punches, okay. Ooh, nice hook. George Foreman's throwing back and forth, though. Here we go, guys. Now we're landing some shots. Oh, there's the haymaker landing. Nice combination here. Ah, nice left hook. Here we go. Very nice defense. Look at the defense on display by the cooler. Look at the head movement. He's getting out of the way almost every single shot, man. Of a spectacular ending anytime here we go guys man let's get it in here i'm gonna try to mix up all right he's hugging us i'm gonna try oh shit he almost caught us with that one that was nuts what i like to do in this game and i even do it in ufc 3 too guys nice hook by foreman man he's landing some shots what i like to do is hit there it is see i like the, i was gonna say i like to hit the body first and then bang the head like a drum there you go, guys. We already dropped George Foreman in the first round. How is this possible, dog? We, you know what? It, we, we caught him with a good combination, man. The body shot opened his head up, and we caught him with a stinging shot. And as you guys know, man, my left hook and right hook to the head has a chance to minorly stun opponents, and that's exactly what you saw right there. He was throwing shots, missing. Might have been gassed. And he paid for it. Let's we'll see if he still wants to fight, man. This is George Foreman. This is old George Foreman. Um, if you guys don't know, dog, if you guys have this on Xbox One, there is a free code. I might put the link for the code in the description that you guys can actually activate from your phone to actually get young George Foreman for the Xbox One. Now, for anybody who's not an OG fan like me, back in the day when this game released, young George Foreman was exclusively a pre-order bonus at GameStop. I know, it's sad, right? But back in that, back in those times when this game, I think it was 2011 when this game came out, your boy was still a connoisseur of games. Like, I might have not had a YouTube channel and recorded videos Stay and put it on YouTube, hand, okay? but I've always Stroke been a gamer. Away. Like, I had the young George Foreman. I had this game pre-ordered. I remember skipping side school, side, dog. I remember right? walking out of school at, like, 9 o'clock in the Don't morning and going to GameStop and now picking listen. this thing up and then going home with one of my homies, and we fucking banged for, like, that sounded wrong. Pause on that. Uh, <laughs> we, we, we played the game for, like, hours, man. You know what I mean? We were scrapping for fucking hours and days at a time. Like, it was a lot of fun when it first came out. But yeah, man, it's lit. Oh, shit. Foreman caught us with a nice shot there, dude. Um, but yeah, bro, I'm going to put, the, I'm going to help you guys out, man. I'm going to put the link in the description. There was one YouTuber. I don't know who the homie's name is. You know what? I might just put his video in the description because he has the link. I don't know where to find the link. Yeah, that, I think that's what I'm going to do, bro. I'm going to put his video in the description showing you guys how to get young form. Love, 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 love back. Nice hook there. Oh, we're landing some shots, man. But yeah, I'm going to put that link in the description so you guys can unlock George Foreman for yourself, the young George Foreman. Nice hook there. Yo, I think the haymaker's on point. rope a in this dude now. Oh, nice shot by him. Throwing that one, two. Trying to keep up with the commentary. Oh my goodness, dude. We just got caught with one, bro. Ah, nice power shot. That was, that was the first power shot I've thrown so far, guys. Oh, nice haymaker. But we missed it. Here's the one, two. Oh, nice weave. Okay. I see you, dog. Ah, nice one, two. Bagging him up right here, dog. Tagging him. Here's one, two. Boom, boom. Double jab landed. Ah, look at the three piece. He didn't even know it was coming. Ah, what's up? What's up? Come on, George. I thought you. I thought you had something for me, dog. <laughs> we get dropped five seconds later. Now nah, I'm just kidding. Protecting his head well with his guard. All right, we're far, man. I'm not gonna lie. We're definitely by far winning this fight. No doubt in my mind. No doubt in the judges' mind. No doubt in your guys' mind. He look, I don't know, man. I don't know if he just has like a, th a slow punching style. He looks a little gassed out. We're breaking through his block here. Okay, there's the end of round two. 
And with a lack of offense came some sloppy defense. Just look at his face now. Yeah, you know what? He should look at his trainers too, because I always say that about this business. Where are the teachers? Where are the trainers? He should be able to get away from punches. With his experience, he should do a better job than he's been doing tonight. All right, guys, I like to let the announcers sometimes talk so you guys get like a, a nice little, little walk through. You know what I'm saying? Something light. Here we go, and round three. Round number three is underway. Both fighters exchanging punches. Like the cooler is getting caught with some. He knows it. Well. His opponent knows it. George Foreman's landing that straight punch. Zone. Devastating uppercut lands by Foreman, but oh my and fucking goodness. Look at that. Right when I was saying that Foreman caught us with an uppercut, we weaved out of the way perfect time and cocked back with an insane right uppercut to the head followed by a nice straight punch. Absolutely devastated him, guys. Great head movement. Look at that, man. Wow. Caught him with a nice shot. Let's see what happens. See if he gets up. Yeah, okay, good. Just like I had hoped, he's going to get up with no problem. I guess I guess the body shot. We dropped him in the first round with, I think, a body shot. He was a little shaky getting up then. He's recovered fully from that. He might have been more hurt from the body shots. Uppercut to the head, he got right up, no problem. Nice combo, though, we're landing. We're landing some good shots here, guys. Ah, dog, what's up? Let's go against the ropes, dude. Ah, I missed the power hook. All right, he lands one. Oh, I tried to throw that little three-piece. Oh, we caught him with a nice left hook there. Nice double jab comes through. We got a quick... Hey, man, I think our jab is on, like, level one or level two, but it's pretty good. It's pretty, see it right there? It's pretty quick. I like that. Ah, right oh, nice hook lands. He's landing some shots too, though. Foreman throwing good high. shots. He, I, I don't know, man. He's got a. Foreman he's trying to grab it. He's got a pretty unorthodox style, feet, like. And he's That's a smart he kind of stays on the outside. Yeah, if you get close enough to him, that's when he starts throwing. He's got minimal footwork. Um, head movements okay. He's not throwing enough punches, but here we go. We got him rocked. What a big shot. Caught him with a nice uppercut. I knew we were gonna drop him. Yeah, we landed right through the block, guys. Great knockdown by us. Let's see if he gets up. What do you guys think? You guys think he's gonna get up? Let's we'll see what happens, man. I wanna show you guys the replay one more time. Wow, man. Can't believe we're knocking down George Foreman, dude. This is crazy. This is madness. That might be over, guys. Might have just took our first legend out. And yes, sir. Stops the fight. Foreman's unable to end you. This fight is over. Knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockouts, you feel me? Seven fight. Seven KOs. George Foreman is now officially in the past. Oh, that's a big win. That's a big win that's going to get everybody in the division's attention. The cooler's power ends this early. You see results like this sometimes from combination, but one shot, wow. Yeah, good one for the fans. Glad you tuned in to see it with us. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us. And just like that, George Foreman is officially behind us. George Foreman is officially under our belt. We took another one. Another fight. Another knockout victim. And as you guys can see here on the screen, holy crap. We landed 65% of our punches. We landed 50 out of 85 right uppercuts. 50 out of 44 straight punches. Seven out of eight counters. We only threw three power shots. Didn't take much to knock out Foreman. Took a lot of punches. Didn't take it that many. I, I didn't throw many power punches at him. But we literally landed 65. Per, bro, look at look at round one. 
We landed 80% of our shots to the body. Round two, not so much. Round round one was probably our st st strongest round by far. Absolutely. Third round knockout, man. George Foreman is officially behind us. And now, here we go. Looking at the rankings. Your boy is now 27th for the heavyweights in boxing. We are now 7-0 with 7 KOs. Our last five fights obviously stays the same. Five fights, five knockouts. Our win percentage remains 100%. Our knockout percentage remains 100%. And our connect percentage went up to 61%. We completed both of our challenges by knocking down our opponent three times and knocking him out in under four rounds. So that's an extra 175 XP. We earned 630 XP for that fight, as well as looks like 20 grand that we earned. So yes, sir. It's gonna be the end of the video. Thank you guys for staying tuned. Thank you guys for watching. I'm really hoping you guys enjoyed it. Leaving a like on the video will show me that you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to type anything you guys want to in the comments. Hope everybody's having a great day. Hope everybody has a great week. Um, thank you guys once again for all the support. Thank you guys for 900. What are we at? 47 subscribers. 53 away from 1,000. If you're new here, consider joining the family. If you guys aren't new here and you're subscribed, consider becoming a part of the notification squad. As a lot more content is coming soon. That I promise. Thank you guys so much once again. It's been your boy. Sadly, this is the end of my Road to the Goat 2. Episode 8? 9? It's the end of the episode, man. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. It's your boy, Matt Merced, and I'm out. Peace.